Hey, what's up guys? This is Guy here. This video was completely unplanned. My table is really dirty. I was doing other things and I was making some changes to the switch that I have over here. This is the USW 8 um, POE, I think, from Ubiquity. I was making some changes over here. This is a downstream switch from the UDM-SE. But because of that, for some reasons, I think I messed up the UDM-SE. I might have messed up something in the memory because it's now down. I rebooted it once, but nothing works. As you can see here, the connectivity is lost in my network. This is actually, this screen is the UDM SE itself. At some point, it even started responding here and then went dark again. So I don't know what's happening with UDM SE. This is really, really bad because I'm actually planning to get rid of the UDM SE to replace it with the with a 40 gate and then get rid of the USW24 PoE to replace it with the 40 switch. I think the UDM SE and the Ubiquity world heard about it. So now they're trying to make it like a bad breakup. But I couldn't do it because I had to install the UNVR first because I have around 16 cameras on Unify Protect. So I need to find a way to record or to manage those cameras before I can get rid of it. So uh, I think today I have to install the UNVR before I go to bed so I can have my cameras taken care of. And then tomorrow, I'll find a way to uh, find some time to install the 40 gate. I'll probably do it live here. So if you're interested, make sure you subscribe to the channel. This is the IP that was provided to me by the UDMSE, but I cannot access it. Like I cannot log into it. Let me bring this window over here. So this is the UDMSE. It's completely offline. I'm pretty sure it's really hot in the house right now, but I can't change my thermostat because Google is also offline. Hey, Google. Yeah, it's offline. Uh, I just wonder in production, for example, let's say it was uh, sometime in the middle of the Monday and everything is busy and this happens to you and you are the network engineer in charge. You are f because this this you can't explain this. And the thing is that I can see my SSIDs with the Wi-Fi, but I cannot connect to them. So when I see the SSID, I click on it, which should connect automatically. But now it's asking me for a password. When I put the password that I know that is correct, it doesn't take it. I don't know if I'm under attack right now. Um, may maybe I'm under attack, but um, I don't think so. I don't think so. Even if I'm under attack, there's nothing to take here. The NAS is offline. I've disconnected my lab in the back, so there's nothing really critical uh, that an attacker can get. I am going to factory reset the UDM SE and then see if there is any, um, any configuration or any backup that we can recover from and hopefully everything will be working after that. So let's go ahead and factory reset it. I have a little pin over here for reset. Let's go ahead and do it. To reset the UDMSE, you have the reset button right here. So I'm going to use this little pin to press the button. You need to hold it for about 10 or 15 seconds, as long as you can. And as you can see here, now the device is rebooting. We're going to give it a few minutes, I don't know, three, five or 10 minutes, and then we'll come back to it. The UDMSE is booting up, and as you can see here, I can see it on my phone. I can tap here to set it up on the Unify app, or I just found that I have an IP, the, the 168, the 192168. This is coming from the UDMSE, so I think I can access it on this IP here. So let's go ahead and, uh, and try it. So the IP will lead us to the configuration page of the UDMSE, as you can see here. So now I need to go ahead and get it configured. So I need to go and connect the internet cable on the port number nine. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to restart a modem as well. So my primary connection is PPPoE, so I can't use it here because I need to do some configuration first. So I'm going to unplug the primary connection. What I'm going to use now is the secondary, that is Duxis with DHCP. It's much easier to get the connection. And then, of course, I also rebooted the modem. So let's see what we have now. So once that is done, I'm going to test the connection and let's see. We Yes, we are now connected to the internet. And the next thing I can do is just go with continue. And uh, the name I will keep UDMSE and go next. And then I need to sign in my Unify account. And after that, I see that I have a backup that was made on October or November 28th. Uh, today is December 3rd, so I think that's fine. It's about a week ago, but we can keep that. So I'm going to restore the configurations 
from the backup that I found. So now I'm in the process of recovering the backups and hopefully everything is going to work. That's why it's always good in production to have backups. You do your backup, you save it. I mean, it should be done automatically. You save the backups every single day or every 12 hours so that if anything like this happens to you in production, you are able to recover. So let's just hope that everything is going to be there and I don't have to do a lot of work. Good news, guys. We are up with the UDMSE. As you can see here, I have all my applications, network, protect. One thing about protect, when you restore your configuration like this, you're going to lose access to your footage that you have on the disk. So hopefully you had the time to download some of the footage that you needed to keep, but you won't be able to link Unify Protect to the footage that you have on the list. At least I wasn't able to do it. So as you can see here, I have all my applications and I want to show you quickly how to make sure you have regular backup. So you go under console settings, system config backup, and make sure it's checked here for auto weekly. I do mine weekly. That's why my last backup was from November 28th. But uh, you can also back it up now if you want to make some big change on the device. And if you go back to the applications, we can check Unify Network. As you can see, everything is up and running fine. It's been a it's been a moment. That's why you see all these applications and these other uh, all these connections. And uh, I can show you how to back up Unify Network only. You can go under Settings and select System and go under Backups. Here you can also make sure it's checked for auto backup weekly. You can also reschedule to make it daily if you want to at whatever time you want. And that's really helpful. So I think I am okay now. Everything has been recovered. This was a good drill just to show you why it's important to have backups of your configuration. And as you can see, I was able to easily recover from my backup that was taken by UDMSE. So it wasn't worth all the hustle. But if you are in production, for example, you have a director or somebody looking at you, you're going to sweat bullet for things like this on your network. Oh, as we can see here, the connectivity is restored. Now I am online on this computer, which is a good thing. So yeah, so everything is coming back online and everything is responding as it should. Which one is this? this is that five this is the nas the nas is not ready yet but yeah everything is coming back online and i think we are doing really well thank you for watching if you like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel because i share with you a lot of things like this and if you want to advance and grow your career i am teaching the ccna on my website kbtrains.com it goes from zero to engineer i'm going to teach you everything i know on networking security cloud and so on so the ccna is there and follow me on facebook instagram and twitter Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye.